Welcome to today's session. So we are looking at question 12 from the 2021 grade 12 mathematics paper 2 prepared by the examination council of Zambia and the question leads the diagram below shows triangle ABC in which AB equals 11.5 meter BC equals 7.2 meter and AC equals 15.1 meters. Calculate angle ABC. So the first thing that we need to ask ourselves is what have we been given? So if you look at this triangle, we've been given all the sides of this triangle. And all these sides are different. There is no light angle. So what we notice here is this is a scalene triangle. Okay, so there is no mention of any light angle D triangle. So it's a scaling triangle where all the sides are different. Then we can only use Sokatoa if we've been given one side to be light angled. So this one, this Sokatoa cannot work out. Sin Lu, we've not been given any side. So if we've been given any angle, sorry, if we've been given any angle, we are going to use um, the sin Lu. But in this case, we are not given any of these. So the best option here is the cosine law. So now the cosine law, we need to know this. So what we know is this angle is what we are being to ask to find. So we have the side facing angle B is a small B. The side facing angle A is a small A. Then the side facing C angle C is a small C. So now the Sokatoa cannot be used, the sine cannot be used, but the cosine law in this case, so we are given uh, two sides, we can use two sides A and C to find angle B using this, so we know that side B is equal to B square is equal to AC plus C square, so A square plus C square, where A side A and side C are the two sides that are forming angle B. Then we take out 2 times AC multiplied by cos B, where B is this angle we are looking for. Then in this case, we are looking for cos B, so we make this angle, cos B, the subject of the formula, by bringing this side, then this B square comes the other way around. So we end up with basically... 2ac cos b equals a square plus c square minus b square. Then we divide by 2ac, then 2ac, then we end up with cos b, angle b is equal to a square c square minus c side d b square over 2ac. So now we can just substitute here what we know. So B is this one, then A is this one, so we have 7.2 meter square plus, then we have uh, 11.5 square, then minus 15.1 square over 2 times 7.2 uh, multiplied by 11.5. Remember, calculators are allowed. So if you use a calculator and simplify that, we are basically going to end up with minus 43.92 over 165.6. Further simplification tells us we have cos B equals minus 0.26. 5, 2. Then we find B by uh, finding the inverse of cos B. So we go into the calculator shift. We are using the normal cash. We place shift. Then we place cos. Then this answer. We get angle B equals basically 105.4. 105.4. So this is basically angle B. So this is how you find the angle A, B, C to get that 5 max. Then the area of triangle A, B, C. So now having known the area 
the the angle and the angle b having known angle b we can use it to find the area using the sign remember the area of any triangle is given by half multiplied by two sides so in this case this is uh, 105.4 right 105.4 then multiply by two sides that are forming that angle which is in this case is a c then multiply by sine that angle which is angle b so in this case is half multiply by uh, 7.2 multiply by 11.5 then multiply by cos uh, basically sine not cos so we are using sine now. So it's sine one zero five point four. Okay. So once we do that, we'll end up with basically thirty nine point nine eight nine meters square, which is basically equal to uh, three significant figures is basically forty meters square. So basically this is how you get this so if if you mess up on question one if you can't answer question one question one you can, there's no you get this one correct so make sure that you follow the principle that i've explained then we are looking at question uh number three the shortest distance from b to a c b to a c so if you look at this one again what you notice here is let me just move to the next page so we are looking at the shortest distance from here to there so shortest distance happens only if this is a light angle triangle once that one becomes light angle so once that becomes right angle then we can easily find the shortest distance so there are two ways we can find this one so what we know is this will be light angled what we know this is uh a hypotenuse then this is opposite to this angle opposite to this angle now we've already found this angle we can find this angle quickly using this angle is 105 once we know this angle here then we can use that to use the the turn so let us find this angle so you can find this angle using the sign rule so sign rule will be basically sign a over the side opposite to the side opposite to basically let me remove this the side opposite to to a is basically this is 105.4 is 7.2 so 7.2 equals then we have sine 105.4 over a uh, basically this one which is 15.1 okay the side opposite that angle so basically sine a which is angle a is basically equal to 7.2 multiplied by sine 104 over 15.1 over 15.1 so again remember calculators are allowed so simplifying that we get sign a is equal to basically when we simplify we simplify this we we'll end up with uh basically let me just use my calculator so we say 7.2 multiply by sine 105.4 divided by 15.1 we end up with uh, 0 0.4597 so introduce the inverse here so we do shift so to find a shift sine this so shift on the calculator then sine then answer we end up with 27.3 um, six which is basically angle this angle a is basically 27.4 to one decimal place as the guidance so now since we know this angle we can easily find the shortest distance so we draw here this should be 90 degrees for it to be shortest distance then we know this angle this angle is 27.4 
then the opposite we're looking for the opposite this is hypotenuse so opposite then hypotenuse so we can use a uh, sign so sign basically is sign angle a is given by opposite over hypotenuse so we are looking for opposite okay we are looking for opposite so in this case we have sign 27.4 equals opposite is what you're looking for over hypotenuse is 11.5 so basically we are looking for this x which is the shortest distance so x is equal to basically nothing but 11.5 multiplied by sine 27.4 so which is basically equal to 5.29 centimeters sorry meters to three significant figures so basically this is how you answer question in uh 12b2 okay 12b2 so as simple as that so let us move to question b we move to question b so question b leads solve the equation 15 turn so it's 15 turn theta equals to 14 okay so for me to let me just clear the board so that you have enough space so the first thing this, this equation is one mark is very simple and straightforward so what we do is basically we have 15 turn theta is equal to 14 and this angle should lie between 180 and the 270 so we divide by 15 both sides then we end up with 14 over 15 so we divide with 15 this side and 15 this side then once we get that then it's a matter of going on the calculator then we do introduce the inverse here so that we mean with theta is equal to tan inverse 14 over 15 then use we go on the calculator we do shift tan then 14 over 15 we end up with 43.02 okay as our angle now we are told that this angle should lie between 180 degrees and the uh, 270 now we know that tan is positive in the first and the third quadrant so it's, since it's positive in the third quadrant and this is where this should lie so what we have is basically our theta which is the correct angle now is equal to basically 180 this is theta 1 plus uh q1 which is our alpha so in this case this is our alpha or q1 so it will be 180 plus this angle which is 43.02 then we end up with 223.02 which is basically nothing than 200 and 23.0 degrees as our angle and that angle lies between 180 and 270 somewhere there in between all right so that's for question e. b let us move to question e. let us move to question e. question e, number c 12c so let me just clear the board again so that we have enough space then we are trying to simplify so simplify basically so simplify uh 39 x to the power 3 over 28 y to the power 4 then we divide by 65 x to the power 5 over 56 y to the power 5 so what we do this one this one becomes now 39 x to the power 3 over 28 y to the power 4 then multiply by 56 y to the power 5 over 65 x to the power 5 so now after we change there so this one goes up then this one comes down once this one becomes multiplication so at this point you can start factorizing so what i know is uh I can divide i can start with basically uh 13 into 39 is 3 13 into 65 is a 5 
then I can come in so I have 28 plus 28 is 56 so 28 into 28 is a 1 28 into 56 is a 2 okay I'm done with the numbers then we go to the variables so this one is 1 then this one is y then here 1 then this one is basically x to the power 2 so if I simplify I end up with 6y over uh, basically 1 times x to the power 2 is x to the power 2 multiply by 5 so I have that so I end up with basically this 5 6y over 5 x square okay x square as our final answer okay so basically this is how you answer question 12 to get the full 12 marks just like that so this question is on trigonometry and this question is always there they will ask you a question about the shortest distance they will ask you the question about the tri head of the triangle and angle or side so it's a matter of practice so go through this question over and over to assure you of those 12 free marks thank you very much for joining us today